Hey guys, Dave Oliveira here with Rain Networks. I just wanted to go over some basic navigation today in the ESET portal. Um, where we want to start at is msp.eset.com and log on in with your account, which I have done up here with this account. Um, I have a few portals in here. Most folks will just have ESET Protect. If you do have ESET Inspect, it means you have a license that's, uh, I believe, complete, elite, or higher, and that's going to get you the EDR. Um, it might be, yeah, complete or elite, I believe, but just take a look at the levels of licensing. But once you get EDR in here, it is another console, and you can do things like uh, the um, forensics that come after if something does happen to penetrate the network. So um, that's what ESET Inspect is here. Um, if I come to the companies section over here, um, these are my companies that all have a license tied to them. You can make new companies here. Um, ABC manage. We do have a video that goes over making these companies. Um, I do like to go to the next page just to show you the different packages here. And it was enterprise and elite is what I was thinking of with the XDR. Um, but they go over what comes with what on each of these. So take a look at those. Uh, when you go through with this, they come through as a company here and we can go to license management and take a look at all of our licenses. And for the monthly MSP folks, you can go ahead and have some trials here. Uh, maybe you wanted to roll this out to somebody and trial it, and they're ready to convert to a full. You can go ahead and do that. You can also update your license unit quantity. Uh, maybe they've grown in the last month or so, and you need to crank it up, right? You can go ahead and do that. Um, and of course, you can suspend the licenses, right? So we could suspend it. After you suspend it, you do have the ability to remove it. So... Uh, it's a two-part process there just to make sure that's what you want to do. Um, coming back to the dashboard here where we actually manage computers is ESET Protect. Um, I have gone to the dashboard is where you land at, right? I've gone to the computers right here. On the dashboard, you can see things at a glance. If there's any security risks and click them and go directly into them. Uh, my security risks are that a couple of machines have been offline for more than oh, 14 days, I think is the default. Um, and you can go through the different uh, live guards, your security overview, um, things like that at the dashboard. Going to the computers, I've made a folder structure here, Devo VP Testing Company. I just made some fictitious companies in here. Um, here is my computer that has it installed. Um, notice with my license that I have a lead, I have a lot of these icons here that's letting you know that this is the live guard. This is the vulnerability and patch management, and this is the EDR, ESET, inspect. And then you got the agent and the endpoint software themselves, right? So um, there's that. Um, coming through here, uh, creating a new folder is easy. You click on the folder, or if you're making a top level one, you'd want to create new static group. Uh, we have a folder or a video on that as well. That makes these groups here, and you can nest them in there. Uh, the other big one is installers. And again, we do have a video on this. This is just kind of like a high level overview. Um, you can come in here, create an installer, select a group, select your OS, uh, go ahead and push through this and choose which product that you would want. Choose a group where you want them to land. That's what a parent group is. I always come to customize more settings and name it. Um, and then just choose, uh, keep pushing along, right? We'd want to make sure to select a product to keep pushing along here. Um, and it wants a parent group or field. Let's just choose the highest level folder here. And then we can click on continue and go through the rest of selecting the product that we need, right? And that saves an installer. So we'll go ahead and discard that. Um, other things that we have in here is if you have the licensing, um, just a moment ago, I just patched this, by the way, it told me that I had version one, two, one dot, so on and so forth of Google. Um, and it was alerting me. So I went ahead and patched it. Um, here are the vulnerabilities that it found, and you can kind of look at things like the uh, vulnerabilities here. If I click on them uh, to go in it, there it is, and I can make this bigger here. Let me go to, I can just go to the link here. Tells you about the vulnerability, but long story short, I went in there and updated um uh, my Google and now the uh, they turned to gray so they're just kind of historic now when they are alerted they're red like kind of like these colors exactly actually um, but that's the vulnerabilities in patch management 
Um, we do have a video on the policies too, but you could make custom policies like if you wanted to password protect your ESET um, application so that people couldn't go like this on the local. It would ask for a password there prior to that. And I'm just thinking of any other things in here. I think that's it for now. So we'll see you guys on the next video. Take care.